Hi everybody, um, this is Stain Manor and I'm in the garage again, hopefully for the last time to get rid of these um, old traction mats. It's uh, Valentine's Day, February 14th, it's really cold in the garage today. I've got the main door open, the side door open, and this will be um, the last installment of removing the traction pads. So in front of me, um, we have the stuff that you're going to need. So this is an MSA uh, chemical respirator, um, heavy. These are uh, thick disposable gloves. They're, um, what are they, um, latex. You can use thick nitrile ones. Don't use the thin nitrile ones because um, they just get eaten up by the solvent. Okay, so this is my thick gloves. I've got about, I don't know, a hundred towels. These were cut into quarters with scissors. The main solvent I'm using for this is a mixture of acetone. Um, I've had this for a long time. I recently went to Friedman's and got some more acetone. Um, I'm going to be using uh, denatured alcohol. They told me that this is now illegal in California. I've had this um, for probably 10 years in the garage. You can use 80% um, alcohol. It doesn't quite work as well. This is they call it hand sanitizer, but it's 80% um, alcohol. There's no gel in that. I'm using Goof Off. Again, I had this for a long time, but looks like you can still buy it. And I just got this, so this is still legal in California. I'm using um, Tarminator, which is a uh, bug and asphalt remover, and brake clean and parts cleaner. These are um, the, the the main ingredient is acetone, and this one also has a little toluene in it. Um, I have a wood scraper because it's soft. I've made it on the sander, and I've you know I've sort of sanded off the corner so it's comfortable on my hands. And I've got my um, eye protection. So I guess um, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to bring you over here, and here's the ski. You can see the port side still has the pads on it. So first thing I'm going to do is just pull the factory pad off. And these have already, whoops, this these have already started to unpeel. Uh, so they come off pretty easily. Now if they didn't come off, you can scrape them very carefully with um, a wooden scraper. But it's easiest to just grab them and pull them off like this. You can see the glue has turned brown where it's subjected to ultraviolet and that's going to be harder to get rid of as we learned in the last episode. There. So there's the um, the old traction pad and here's the glue. So what I'm going to have ready is my um, glue remover, which is 50% acetone and 50% alcohol. Like I said before, I'm using denatured alcohol, but you can't buy that in California anymore. This one's almost empty. So it might work with 80% alcohol, you can get that as hand sanitizer sanitizer or as uh, rubbing alcohol. So you don't have to put very much in it at once. The stuff evaporates quite quickly. So I have about, I don't know, half an inch, something like that. This is the same stuff as most of these sprays. The difference is the spray just kind of sprays all over the place. So um, I didn't need it. I didn't need to spray it. Now here's a trick. You only use this small piece of towel and then you throw it away in a garbage can right away. That's the trick. So, without any further delay, let's get started. Just kind of wet the surface and, it, and you can see it's, the glue starts to soften almost immediately. This stuff smells really strongly. Alright, here we go.
this stuff really works. The acetone turns the glue into mush. That's the glue right there. And it doesn't make the glue sticky. I'm trying not to keep um, too much of the solvent on this black bumper because I don't know how much um, how, how the solvent will affect the plastic. I know the solvent does not affect the uh, gel coat. It's simply amazing how fast the glue comes off with the uh, mixture of alcohol and acetone. Be careful to not get the acetone on the writing on your stickers. It'll take the writing right off. As you can see, the glue comes off, um, I mean, immediately. This wooden sharper, excuse me, this wooden scraper is pretty sharp, but it's a soft material because it's wood. It's not scratching the gel coat. It's time consuming but necessary to get all the little pieces off and that's what I'm doing now. The whole area is essentially cleaned off. There's no glue left except for little chunks. Okay, so the, um, the, let's see, the stern on the port side is done, and now I'm going to move to the um, port side pad for the passenger's feet. And this is the same process, 50-50 alcohol and, and acetone, little tiny towels, and gentle scraping with the wooden scraper that you've sharpened on this sander. Throw your towels away right away into a garbage can so you don't make a mess on the floor. As you can see, this um, combination of solvents just turns the glue into mush. The glue is not sticky anymore. Now it seems for some reason that the driver's foot pad is attached with a different kind of glue. Me. And that means that the acetone will not take this pad off. I have to switch to 
some kind of hy um, hydrocarbon based solvent like goof off or maybe paint there but the one in the um, in the bow here on the port side is a uh, uh, a glue that this um, acetone mixture will take off. So we're going to go up to that one first and then to tackle the driver's foot traction mat I have to switch solvents. And there's yet another challenge with this job. The previous owner glued down the edges here with crazy glue. And that I just may have to take off very carefully with the razor blade and then finally finish that with um, acetone, straight acetone. But this chunk here where my left hand is won't come off with anything. At the end of the job it's really important to get all the little chunks or they're gonna sort of stick back to the gel coat surface as soon as the solvent has um, evaporated. So it's kind of tedious, you have to go back over your work and pick up all the chunks. So that was the easy part. <laughs> now comes the challenge of getting rid of the traction mat for the driver's side, driver's feet. Somehow they've decided to use a different glue here. Like I said before, acetone won't touch that glue. Neither will alcohol. So I'm going to switch to a different solvent. I think I'm going to try goof off first. Now yeah, maybe I'll try a little bit of paint thinner first. So, it's really important when working with adhesives and solvents to just use a towel a short time and throw it right in the garbage. Otherwise all you do is just um, make a big mess on the floor and on your work surface. So all I do is get those paper towels that are already cut in half and so that's a half a towel, and then you cut it, in, and cut it again, that's a quarter towel, and then you cut it again, that's an eighth of a towel. And I use them folded in half. So these are eighths, and I, I use them as folded in half, so that's a sixteenth of a towel. And maybe it sounds silly, but it works really well. You know, just get all this, the adhesive stuck to the small piece of towel, and right in the garbage it goes. Um, like I said before, when the solvent dries or evaporates, um, the glue pieces will stick back down to the surface. It's very cold in the garage. You can see my outfit. It's probably barely 50 degrees on this February afternoon here. So, you can do all this stuff at home. None of this stuff is difficult. All the products I'm using are commonly available at Friedman's, Home Depot, or a, paint, or a good paint store like um, Sherwin-Williams or um, Kelly Moore. And the spray products come from Napa or AutoZone. Alright, so we're going to switch solvents now. Like I said in my previous video, uh, like dissolves like, and you know that when you're, you know, when you're trying to get grease off of something, it won't come off with water. You have to use soap or maybe some kind of solvent. So, um, so we're going to switch solvents now. So this is completely dry. It had um, acetone in it, and there's none left. I know this pad will come off and goof off, but I want to know is what is it faster in regular old paint thinner now paint thinner comes in like three different uh, products sometimes it's called paint thinner substitute paint thinner or mineral spirits don't use lacquer thinner that's something else I'm not using lacquer thinner on purpose because I'm concerned it's gonna attack the gel coat now like anything whenever you're about to experiment with the new solvent um, just take a small amount of the solvent. I have, you know, I don't know, a teaspoonful. And carefully look at it. 
and what it does on the surface somewhere that's going to be covered up. So for us, there's a big pad right here. So even if I destroy the finish slightly right there, it's not going to show. So I'm going to take a little bit of the paint thinner and just see how it reacts to the gel coat. So I'm, um, I'm wiping a small amount of the product. This is regular paint thinner. And it does not seem to be um, softening the surface at all. So I think this is safe to use. I think paint thinner is safe to use on the gel coat on a Kawasaki ski from 2007. Now that said, if you have a different brand and it's not done with gel coat, like for example the new sea -Dews or ABS plastic, what I'm telling you here doesn't count. You understand that, right? Surfaces on these um, um, skis are different. So this is um, this is gel, gel coat, which is applied to the mold first, and then the fiberglass is sprayed in, and that's how they make these. So this does not appear to affect the gel coat at all. All right, so let's come over over there on the other side and see if we can get um, get that, that traction pad off. Last time, I had to use a hammer and a sharp chisel, again, made out of wood, and something oil-based to get that glue off. And I have no idea why um, they've, they've chosen a different glue for um, for the traction mat underneath the driver's feet. So come on over here. This took a long time last time and I'm hoping this solvent will um, be faster because man I have, I have no desire to sit here for see I mean for a, an hour to try and get this off. So you see what I mean? I mean this traction mat is stuck. I mean this is a terrific glue. You know, it doesn't come off at all. So what I'm going to do is put a little bit of the paint thinner in front of the edge. And my experience on the other side was it was some kind of a petroleum solvent, petroleum-based solvent, will dissolve the glue. And I may just have to do the same thing I did last time, which is make a total mess with with this. And you know, well, maybe I don't know. It's hard to say. Am I just attacking the um, am I just attacking the foam, or am I attacking the solvent? I may switch to goof off. Um, Let's see, what does it contain? Um, I think it's xylene, but yeah, xylene and toluene. One of the one of the two dissolves, excuse me, evaporates very very quickly, and that's the one that actually does the work. I don't know if it's xylene or the toluene, but one of the two evaporates very very quickly, and this stuff really stinks. So even with a draft coming through my garage, I'm going to have to put on my chemical respirator, because that stuff stinks. Okay. All right, here we go. This is working a little faster than using um, WD-40, but I'm, I'm going to have to do the same process I did last time, is first separate the foam and then go after the glue itself. 
You just got to be patient and, and dribble in a little bit of goof off right up against the foam where it meets the, the bottom of the ski and only work about an inch at a time. It's very tedious and stinky. The trick to this is patience. If, you're, if it doesn't come off very well, you need to add more solvent.
Alright. Woo! And that is it. Ugh. Okay, got it off. Got the rest of it off. This is also too much for these gloves. So obviously when you're using Goof Off, you need to use the thick nitrile gloves. Because these um, thick um, latex gloves did not protect my hand from that. So they did okay at first. They did okay with the um, with the acetone, but they didn't do okay with the Goof Off. Man, this stinks. So now, time to close up this can. You know, I did it last time with um, WD-40, doing exactly the same thing. It was a little less stinky, but it wasn't, any, it wasn't significantly better with, uh, um, with the uh, goof off. The goof off will attack the glue, though. But to get the, um, sorry about being off camera, but to get the, to get the foam off the glue, I haven't come up with a better way than that. As you can tell, it was way easier to, um, to use the acetone on the other kind of glue. But that glue is just really, really intense. Okay, so the whole garage stinks really bad. I have um, the big door open, the side door open, and now washed up, changing the gloves. What I'm going to do next is um, soak up most of the solvent with something, probably towels, and then I'm going to go after the glue. So here, I'm going to, um, I'm going to come over here and start getting all the pieces of foam that have flown everywhere, rounded up, and wiping off the splatter, I'm going to have to come back and clean the ski again before we put the pads on. That's alright. Gotta get this stuff off somehow. So I'm just kind of absorbing the solvent, picking up chunks of foam, chunks of the gloves. Wiping off the splatter. You can come back with acetone and take off the oil. Acetone is good for that. So don't worry too much if there's a little bit of a sheen of oil on everything. I wouldn't do it on the um, red painted surfaces because I don't know how they stand out. I don't know what kind of paint that is. But the white is, um, is gel coat. Alright, so now what I have is a smelly oily rectangle of glue. So um here is so here is the next the next part of this process. Goof off will also attack this glue and so will that bug and tar remover. Tarminator. That's kind of funny. I don't know if um if you can get that anymore. I bought it at I want to say Napa or somewhere like that a few years back. So I'm going to start with Tarminator and just like before I'm taking about a half an inch to an inch at a time soaking the glue with the solvent and you can see right here it's coming off very quickly. Unfortunately I'm running out of Tarminator I'm going to have to go back to Goof Off which smells so bad. So it is taking it off. You can see a big chunk of it right there. It's not not sticky.
Now this seems to be coming off more easily than last time, and maybe that's because I did the first step with the goof off and it helped to soften the glue. So as you can see, there's a big handful of it coming off right now. This is off. I'm, unfortunately, I'm almost out of Terminator. I'm probably going to have to go back to goof off. It's kind of interesting. This product works differently. Um, when I was using the um, the uh, um, acetone, the glue did not get sticky. This stuff turns the glue back into glue, and as you can see, it's all over my gloves. So that's why I prefer the acetone if I can, because the acetone and the alcohol makes the glue not sticky. But it doesn't work on this stuff, so I'm I'm stuck using a petroleum distillate, and you can see the petroleum distillate kind of wants to turn the glue back into glue, and that's why it's all over me. Oof. Almost out of Terminator, unfortunately I have to go back to goof off. We are definitely winning. Now I'm just coming back and taking all the little white solid glue chunks. There's no more um, foam, they're just like little chunks of solid white glue all over the place. And there, and it's coming off with the glue, with the goof, goof off. Well, well, that about wraps it up. Um. Now i got to spend another, I don't know, half an hour or so just collecting all of the little chunks. Um, I may use Goof Off or I might try with acetone again. Probably Goof Off. And um, that's it. So, um, the next time we meet, I'm going to start laying out the new traction pads and positioning them with, uh, with um, pencil lines so that um, when we stick them down we know exactly where they go. Um, basically you start at one end of the traction mat and then roll them down um, working out all of the um, air bubbles. So um, that's um, I guess part three of prepping the skis um, for the new traction mats. These are again Kawasaki STX-12F um, these hulls are made out of fiberglass with a gel coat um, finish. When you do yours, make sure you check someplace where it doesn't show so that the solvent doesn't destroy the paint. Like I said earlier, um, other skis like Sea-Doo's in particular, those hulls are made with ABS plastic and I don't know what they paint them with. So um, you got to be very careful that your solvent doesn't soften the surface and um, also acetone will take the writing off your decals so we got to be careful with that so um, until next time I'm Stin Manor and I'm here in my garage um, preparing my uh, 2007 Kawasaki um, STX 12F jet skis for ride mats so you can see here are the ride mats traction mats sometimes called by black point black tip I'm sorry and yeah, thanks very much for watching.